equal. Oh, 6,000 people in this room. Hello, out and equal. Yes, yes. I am so proud to be back at the Out and Equal 2018 Workplace Summit. And it is such a pleasure to be here and welcome 6,000 of you to the Bank of America opening brunch. I would also like to say thank you and welcome Erin in her first summit as CEO. What an amazing presentation and an amazing leader. She is truly a partner in our drive for LGBTQ equality. This sign behind me, you belong here, is such a powerful statement. What that means to me is that we are all a part of a force for change. Supported by and driven by organizations like Out and Equal to achieve workplace equality for the LGBTQ plus population. I remember last year's conference oh so well. It was my first and I remember hearing and saying that diversity and inclusion are more important ever than, and even more important now than ever before. And a year later, it's still true. It will always be true until every person in a corporate setting is able to truly bring their whole selves to work. We must be diverse, we must be inclusive, and we must ensure that everyone knows that they belong. And that's why we're here, together, to advocate and drive for equality for the LGBTQ plus populations. And I'm not only here as the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer for Bank of America, I'm also here as a, a proud Bank of America employee and also as a proud ally. You see, in corporate America, we can't just talk the talk. We have to walk the walk, and we have been walking as a corporation in pursuit of equality for years. And that's why Bank of America is so deeply proud to serve as your vision, visionary partner for the second year in a row. We're also here side by side with 40 of our teammates from around the world and 128 volunteers from Seattle. Stand up, you belong here. Let's be recognized, Bank of America. As a company, we recognize the power to drive change and we have looked for every opportunity to ensure that our workplace is 100% inclusive. This year celebrates 20 years as the first financial institution to offer comprehensive domestic partner benefits. We were also one of the first companies to include sexual orientation in our non-discrimination policies. We are also committed to creating the best place to work for our LGBTQ plus teammates and deliver top rated healthcare benefits globally. Those benefits include a dedicated team of transgender support specialists who provide one-on-one -on -one support for our employees transitioning in the workplace, as well as their families, their members, managers, and their family members. We've also done some things that are unique that makes me very proud. Like when we lit up the top of our main building in New York City in the colors of the transgender flag to memorialize those who have been murdered as a result of transphobia and to draw attention to the continued violence endured by the transgender community. We also have a strong ally program with nearly 25,000 visible allies around the world. Allies like our own CEO and members of the management team who don't just hesitate to show support for the LGBT population. In fact, when bank employees were impacted by the Pulse nightclub shooting, Bank of America contributed $300,000 to the Victims Fund 
and our CEO went to Orlando personally to meet with the community and our impacted employees. We also flew the rainbow flag at half mast at our corporate headquarters to show our love and support for the victims and their loved ones. And here, right here in Seattle, and in more than two more cities with more than 40 of our local financial centers are a part of the Safe Place program, where members of the LGBTQ plus community can go and report hate crimes and stay safe until police arrive. That is just one program. And the more than $1.1 million that we've given to the LGBTQ population just in the last couple of years. It is through these actions, again, walk in the walk, not just talk in the talk, that show that you can count on Bank of America to continue to advocate and push for progress in the LGBTQ plus populations. So why are we here today? Why do we belong here today? What are we trying to accomplish in this unique, necessary, and purposely built moment? I would contend that we are here to support the mission of Out and Equal, to create workplaces that are inclusive of sexual orientations, gender identities, and gender expressions. So if that goal is for inclusion, let's think about how it feels to be excluded. Think about it. When, think about a time where you felt excluded. How did it feel? Some words that come to mind for me are lonely, frustrated, shut out, isolated. These words don't belong in the corporate workplace. And yet we have all had times when we have felt limited and when we've questioned our place in society or our purpose or our value. And these words are just not unique to the LGBTQ plus population. We have a responsibility to be an ally to any group that continues to experience injustice and oppression. Before I close, I'd like to share a short video that crystallizes the theme behind me, you belong here. It's a video of Heather Heyer's mom. She was the young girl that was killed during the Charlottesville protest just over one year ago. And her mother used a critical moment in time to ask people to do something about equality. And in that message, she reminds us to take accountability for change. If you could take a moment, let's roll the video. They tried to kill my child to shut her up. Well, guess what? You just magnified her. there that I can do to make the world a better place? What injustice do I see and want to turn away? I don't, I don't really want to get involved in that. I don't want to speak up. They'll be annoyed with me. My boss might think less of me. I don't care. You poke that finger at yourself like Heather would have done and you make it happen. You take that extra step. You find a way to make a difference in the world. Remember in your heart, if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. And I want you to pay attention, find what's wrong, don't ignore it, don't look the other way. You make a point to look at it and say to yourself, what can I do to make a difference? And that's how you're going to make my child's death worthwhile. I'd rather have my child, but by golly, if I got to give her up, we're going to make it count. a little emotional every time I see that. And if you haven't seen the full video, you should look it up on uh, YouTube. But in my opinion, Heather's mom's message is one that transcends across groups. And it reminds us that there still are 28 states in the United, I mean, 28 states in the U.S. where a person can be fired just for being LGBT or Q. Oppression, unfortunately, still exists. And even when we've made progress, we can still make a difference. Heather's mom is reminding us to be game changers. 
So when you think that you've got it and that you're totally inclusive and fully equal, go deeper. Think about every letter, L, the G, B, T, Q, I, A, plus. Are you considering those that are bisexual at your company? Are you ready to have a courageous conversation when gender doesn't fit in the box? Are you really thinking about the needs of your transgender employees? Does your company represent the transgender population, especially across race? Are we leveraging self-ID campaigns to track visible and non-visible diversity of your employees? I think we have the responsibility to not only advocate, but to push for change and equality for all. And it starts right here, right here in Seattle. It starts right here, right here with Alan Equal. It starts right here with us. We belong here. I belong here. You belong here. So everybody stand up in this room. I want you to look to the person to your left, and I want you to say, you belong here. <laughs> and now, I want you, with a little bit more conviction, look to that person to the right and say, you must advocate and drive for progress and change. So the final question is, what are you going to do when you leave this conference? And as you look at the words behind me, you belong here, I would challenge you to not only absorb as much as you can from this conference, but I would suggest that you must go away from this conference with an obligation to advance the mission of out and equal. So stand and repeat after me, you belong here. You belong here. I belong here. I belong here. I see you. I see you. And because I see you, you exist. And because I see you, you exist. Thank you.